Hi, this is Ola from Start With Self and in today's video I would like to talk to you about uh, how you can reduce the voice of your inner critic. As you might remember in my previous video, I discussed and I shared with you five strategies that might help you overcome the voice of self-doubt. And one of the strategies was question your inner critic. And in this video, I would like to dive a bit deeper and share an exercise with you that will help you actually do that and that will help you reduce the voice of self-criticism. So I'm going to share one exercise that consists of three steps. But before I do that, I would like to say uh, a few things about why we actually hear the voice of our inner critic. I'm saying we because as you might remember, I have also suffered from quite a lot of self-doubt and I did a lot of work on myself and I'm getting stronger and that voice in my head, that self-criticism is getting weaker and weaker. So that's why I want to share with you this exercise because it will really help you reduce the voice of self-criticism. But before we dive into the exercise itself, I would like to talk to you a little bit about why we actually hear the voice of our inner critic. So our self-criticism usually originates in our early childhood and it is the voice of our parents or other primary caregivers. Since we are little babies, we, we don't have our own sense of self yet and we are just like little sponges we absorb everything that our parents or other important people in our life telling us so essentially their perception of us becomes our own inner voice so that's absolute number one reason why you are suffering from self-criticism reason number two is the influence of society so the messages we get from our peers or from our teachers when you start going to school, these messages also might strengthen the voice of self-criticism in your mind. So maybe you have been criticized because of your race or because of your religion or maybe because of your size. Like in my case, I used to be quite a chubby child and I used to stutter, so I was harassed quite a bit about these two things and it really hurt me a lot and I used to just suffer in silence. So all these kind of messages might contribute to the strength of your inner critic. Luckily, it is all your inner programming and you do have the power to change that programming and to change the relationship that you have with yourself. So step number one. Step number one is about you understanding the voice of your inner critic better. So I want to invite you to prepare a safe and relaxing space for yourself. If you like candles, you can light a candle and schedule time for yourself to go on this journey within and to understand the voice of self-criticism that you have. When you are ready and everything is set and you feel that this is your safe space to look within, I want you to close your eyes and ask yourself a few questions. Ask yourself when the voice of your inner critic started what happened then? What triggered this whole avalanche of self-criticism in your life? How old when were you then? And when you hear the answers in your mind, just write everything down. And as I said, write down everything in a notebook because there is some magical release happening when you actually use your hand and write down your answers on a piece of paper. And once you did that, I would also like to ask you to ask yourself what kind of thoughts and feelings started at that critical time in your life 
what kind of thoughts about yourself you started to believe in because those thoughts most probably create beliefs that you have about yourself once you discovered the thoughts and feelings that were triggered then i would like you to think about your life and look for evidence that will question the voice of your inner critic and write down all the bits and pieces of evidence that you can find that prove your inner critic wrong so that's step number one i realized that what i just said and the suggestions i've made it's all easier said than done and if you feel that you are really scared to look within and to connect to some memories that might have been very painful i i completely understand this and i i feel your pain some memories are really traumatic and we we just don't want to go back into that space and into that time so just check in yourself if you feel safe enough and you if you feel ready to to look within and to get reconnected with that past pain if you discover that you definitely are not ready and you don't feel safe then it might be useful to seek help from from a therapist or from a healer someone who will help you go back to the origins and there is a lot of value in doing that when you want to heal some past pain or past trauma it is actually very beneficial to unlock that memory and to start the healing process from the very beginning from the very essence of your pain so there is value in that but if you are not ready to do it on your own don't force yourself by any means and just seek help step number two is about acknowledging that your inner critic has actually good intentions and all it wants is to keep you safe all parts of us when you think of yourself as a complex being have the best intentions for us and at different moments in time they create different survival mechanisms and what you call right now in your life the voice of your inner critic that part of you at some time in the past maybe in your childhood created this survival mechanism for you just to keep you safe and to prevent you from getting hurt for example what it means for me is that almost every time I run a workshop or I'm about to record a new video I hear this voice of my inner critic in my mind and what I do is I look at myself in the mirror and I just say to myself thank you I know what you are trying to do I know you want to protect me but I am safe and I am ready to change this programming I am ready to move on so that was step two in step three i want to encourage you to focus on your inner child so close your eyes and imagine yourself at that age when your inner critic started and give yourself some love that's what our inner children want to feel loved and to feel safe so close your eyes imagine yourself as that little boy or that little girl and give yourself some love maybe it means giving yourself a hug maybe it means going for a walk together just make sure that inner child feels safe and it feels loved that's the whole exercise so to recap step number one is about discovering when your inner critic started step number two is about acknowledging the good intentions behind your inner critic and step three is about healing your inner child i would like you to do this exercise in this order number one discover number two acknowledge and number three heal thank you so much for watching by the way i would love to hear from you what kind of evidence you found in your life that already proves your inner critic wrong so please leave a comment and let me know 
And if you found this video useful, remember to hit the like button. And if you haven't done that already, subscribe and we will see each other in the next video.